All right, so in this video, we're going to cover something in exponents that a colleague of mine told me about, and it's the phrase sticky. I thought it was super helpful. Why? Because exponents stick to what's next to it. So let's say I have the number 2. That's my base. That's the number I'm using to raise to a power. And here's the exponent. Sweet. There's the exponent. So the exponent sticks to this number. In other words, it affects what's right next to it. So, if I want to know what this is, this means to multiply 2 by itself three times. So 2 times 2 and times 2. And you're saying, so what? That's easy, Sean. Um, yeah, but things get pretty confusing for many students when we have a bunch of numbers, let's say 1 plus 2, and then we raise that to a power. So this exponent is sticking to the thing that's next to it. In this case, the whole parentheses. So in this case, you want to add before you raise it to a power. And now, this exponent sticks right to this number over here, and that means 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Now, in high school, what you're going to encounter is this situation, and many students are frustrated by it. Here, what this really means is to, well, it doesn't mean negative 2 to the third power. That would be written like this. And in fact, let me change my exponent. So I'm going to erase this. And here we go. Very exciting. Oh, that's crazy. So, second power. These two are different things. And that might really irritate you. But they are. In fact, they're very different. On the bottom, the exponent applies to this whole parentheses. It's sticking to the whole thing. And that just means take the number negative 2 and multiply it by itself and pacha, positive 4. But here, this means something different. What this means is, well, the 2 applies just to the number negative 2 and only to that number. So this really means take 2, multiply by itself to get 4, but then, don't forget about this guy over here, multiply it by negative 1. So that ends up equaling a negative 4, which is different from what we had over here. And my analogy, and this is why I like the analogy of an exponent being sticky, is that the exponent sticks right next to the number. It doesn't apply to everything else, but just the thing it's next to. And that might help you remember the difference between these two operations.